It is a long-running exhibit that features African-American art at the Museum of Science and Industry. And Tim is live with a look at some beautiful paintings. So we saw the youth contributions. I think now you're going to show us some of the adult contributions. Yeah, and they are amazing as well. This is part of the longest running, continuously longest running display of African American art in the country. I think I got that right. Angela Williams is here to correct me if I didn't, uh, Director of Design and Creative Services here at the museum. Is that right? Yeah, you're yeah, exactly Since right. 1970. Since 1970. So over 50 years. So as part of this, you had these juried competitions. We saw the student section. We're now in the adult section. Yes. And first thing that I noticed is that there's all different forms of it. You've got dresses, you've got sculpture, all different mediums, right, represented mm -hmm. here? That's right. And we've got third place right here. This is Nicholas Moody, Untitled. So this is an example of uh, photography, obviously, that won. This is amazing. Yeah, really beautiful work. You know, three kids look, clearly look like they're, you know, at church or a service of some sort, <laughs> you know. And uh, just really great opportunity to just capture the moment, right? So this is part of your Black Creativity Program. What's the kind of message you want to get out to, to people with this? Well, you know, black creativity is really all about celebrating the achievements of African Americans in uh, science, technology, um, medicine, and engineering, right? So math and mathematics. So the arts is a part of it. So really going from STEM to STEAM, right? Science, technology, I like engineering, that. math. A lot of acronyms there, STEM to STEAM, okay? Yes. So now we're looking at second place here. We'll be looking at it in a second. This is acrylic and oil, I believe. Mm -hmm. and. This was called, I like this, the wise corner. So you have these matriarchs sitting around probably solving all the problems in the world, right? Yes. Sitting outside together. We love it. Beautiful. And um, just amazing what I've seen. And I've spent a couple hours here already. You really need to allot some time. You know, the Museum of Science and Industry, you can spend a whole day, uh, let alone outside of this gallery. So you're going to need some time for you to come here. And this will be on display, you said, until? April 21st. April 21st. So what is it like for the judges? I don't, how do they? sort through all this because it's so hard? That's a great question. We have uh, received over 800 submissions for this exhibition this year. Um, and then the jurors, we work with a different group of jurors every year, um, and there were three, and they went through and made the selections based on what they felt was, you know, really outstanding, you know, bodies of work, and that needed to be shown to the public. Okay, before we get to the winner, mm -hmm. just wanted to point this out, because this kind of captures your imagination right away. And this is like a foam mattress cover, correct? Yes, it Made is. Made into a dress. Right, and I was just reading a little bit about her story. Miss um, Brown, she, uh, her mom was a seamstress, and her work is really about um, addressing social justice issues. So you can kind of see it, right, using very common materials or n right. known materials to create something really, very beautiful and Amazing. Glamorous. Okay, let's cut to the chase. Here's yeah. the winner, best in show. Mm-hmm. And I like this kind of like a mural or a montage here. Yeah, it's a collage. And I'm not sure how you pronounce this. I don't. Do you know how? <laughs> I'm gonna say Kiyama, Kiyama, Kiyama Akure. Akure. And Akure. It's a beautiful uh, a collage of work. And if you've ever ridden the CTA or any yes. kind of public transportation, and you you're capturing moments as they're going by, that's my interpretation of it. Right. Um, but just really great. Uh, just the assemblage of images that you might see on a train and things that you may remember. I love the title. It took a long time to get here. <laughs> it's amazing. So if you want to find out more information, check it out, msichicago.org. It's going to be on display, this artwork here, at least through April 21st. That's right. Guys, back to you. I, I hate to be a judge on this. I don't know how you do it. It's amazing. So many incredible pieces. Mm-hmm. Awesome, Tim. Thank you.